The moon hangs heavy in the late night sky, yet the Pope's still full. Let's have a look why. The day was long and offered nothing of cheer. How about a story over a mug of beer? Crowd around all who dwell here. I'm Jack. Call me the storyteller. Quiet down and lend me your ear. I know exactly what you want to hear. I'll spin you a yarn, and before I'm through, you'll be as sure as I that every word is true. It's about a brave little girl with hardly a fear, who looked for her life like any of these kids here. But wait, who's this stumbling onto the stage? A round of applause for our leading lady. Her name is Abby. She lived in a quaint little village just like... like this one. Trust me, it's not so important where you are from. Even the meekest hick town has stories galore. So the one I'm telling might as well be yours. A little circus was in town, traveling their route, wooing the locals wherever they were about. And amongst all these passers-by, here's Abby. Would you like to say hi? Come on, Abby. Show us what you're made of. She's not here by chance, though. No, this isn't a visit. This is her home. Fortune has deemed her artiste extraordinaire, though not extraordinary enough to command her fair share. The ringmaster announces, Attention! The artiste! A meager little girl child confronts the beast. Help! I'm afraid I've dropped my cap. Someone to the rescue! Can I be saved by scalp? Got it! Don't stop now, use your wit. Phenomenal, Abby. Do tell. The ringmaster praises, you've mastered that well. But now the hours have wild away. That was the last performance of the day. Alas, when she's not before the cheering crowd, Abby's life is far from proud. You had the audience cheering for more! The ringmaster praises and then locks the door. Poor Abby, held in a small cage day and night, only free for the length of a staged fight. Food and lodging, if you eat like a bird, but Oh, how she longs to see the world. What's this? A pair of rats take heed and bring an apple in her hour of need. The ringmaster storms in, disturbed it seems. What's going on here? He stomps and screams. Should she suffice with the bars of her cage? No. She belongs on the world's wide open stage. Impertinent? That means brash. Don't tell me you wouldn't make a dash for it. And carefully, carefully, don't make a sound. 
she slips away from the ringmaster's grounds. Who are us? Abby knows to. <laughs> Abby, Abby, don't you see? The threads holding you up also hold you back. Without the help of friends, and those are very few, your dreams will stay dreams and never come true. Damn! Hopefully, no one heard that. Together, dear Abby, you can move mountains. Was it worth it? All this trouble? Urs and Abby can continue their struggle. But what's that? The ringmaster? He'll be found out fast. Oh my! Ah, the loyalty of a beast. So often attributed to the heart. But perhaps a deficiency of the intellect? Apparently Urs found Abby's cage to be smaller than his own. Well done, Urs. Though, no, now she's alone. Quick now, Abby, run away. Don't look back. It's a start of a new day. Abby wanted the world, and it shows itself at its best. The fields, the flowers. But you can't afford to rest. The voices pursuing her, they slowly subdue. To wind, stroking grass, cricket orchestras, sounds all so new. Stone by stone, tree by tree. World without commands, it's strange to be free. The evening sky paints the air, coloring over Abby's despair. Sunbeams tingling with warmth, inviting you, continue forth. The world is beautiful, Abby. Look at its colors. Take it in while you can. Enjoy the wonders. It's just a windmill standing still perhaps envying you for your free will. It is what it is, a stubborn wooden thing. Still, you can't get past it with your strings. That's the way. The mill waves Abby goodbye, its arms swinging high in the sky. Little Abby stops with a shiver. If you want to be free, you'll have to cross the river. Resourceful little lass. Where there's no bridge, she uses her class. Uh oh, without tools, determination comes up empty. May I lend you a string, lest fatigue be too tempting? See, you can trust me. A hunter's cabin, a light, looks inviting, eh, Abby? Warm and bright. Oh, wouldn't that be fabulous? The old wolf is dying. Leave him in peace. His travels are over. Yours are yet to be. A girl who moves windmills will certainly manage to get a little cart out of the way.
You're free to continue. Well done, Abby. But I don't think the cart's owner will be happy. The trees block Abby with wooden claws, but they're afraid they'll burn their paws. Mud, thunder and lightning are terrible opponents. Poor little Abby has to endure some trying moments. Alone in the world, she runs wildly about, while the embers of freedom are slowly doused up. Well, well, Abby, the world isn't all the eyes of song, eh? Aye, it's a sorry state of affairs. This torch is all you've got, Abby. I've heard tales of creatures in these woods, dangerous vermin, up to no good. Hideous legs, ready to devour you, catch you in the web. Good. Fire seems to do the trick. She doesn't like your torture bit. Try your luck. I recommend you flee. Rain. Well, you certainly seem to feel confident at the end of my strings. Your torch, it's going out. Built in a day. Abby, do you see how much you need me? This is no place for you. Careful. What you couldn't manage, someone else could do. Oh, Abby, what have you gotten yourself into? Tiptoe away, Abby. Quiet. Whoever is able to slay a spider like that is possibly not the most compassionate. That... that's a ringmaster. All decked out in a dark forest? And conspiratively whispering with who? About what? Oh my, it's Tonda, the merciless plunderer. He's the one who tore the spider asunder. Abby's weight in gold shall be yours if you bring her back through my circus doors. Since she's gone, my world has gone black. Damn it, I want the little brat back. The ringmaster pleaded, the ringmaster whined, but Tonda just laughed and sipped his wine. Remember the bear? We caught him in a day without further ado. 
A little lost juggler girl won't cost but a few. Ringmaster, have your reward ready. We'll bring your abbey back just as I told. Get ready, men. We'll be bathing in gold. The mercenaries and thieves gather round Tonda, as hungry and determined as a huge anaconda. Their leader is big enough for two, strong enough for five. He'll do anything for a buck and more to survive. The bandits get back to their work, building a castle, or at least a fort. Without some smarts up in your crown, all the muscle in the world will only weigh you down. Once you've sneaked past certain death, it's easy to believe that life lies ahead. But Abby, you thought your luck had turned, but in fact it's merely whimpered and squirmed. And now? Only thickets too thick for a girl. So where is this oh-so-beautiful world? Dangers lurking in that swamp, Abby. Do you smell that, Abby? That's death. The world's perfect. Thunder and his gang. Run, Abby. Run for your life. You can't get away. Thunder calls. Watch out. Oh, has he grown so accustomed to me, Abby? Thunder grunts. Abby's is nowhere to be found. But used to having his prey escape the hunting ground. A moment of grace can have an exorbitant price. And his freedom is at the roll of the dice. Honda's band of thieves has moved on, it seems, yet they continue to look, for this world is their regime. Once they've tasted blood, they'll discover your tracks. Rare is the victim that's managed to slip through the cracks. Abby, you've come too far, seen too much to give in. This freedom you've achieved is but a burden. No matter where you hasten, no matter how you try, your feet are no less blistered, your dreams are no less shy. 
Freedom is hard, Abby. Get used to it. The woods are a lonely place, but in a village, can Abby find solace? Not particularly respectful, but if it works. So, Abby. Still thrilled by your sense of adventure? Or do you find yourself recalling how your cage was so secure? Don't let him bite you. Where would you be without me, your storyteller? You'd be dog food for old Yeller. Romping about in search of a bone, does he remind you of anyone? Ha <laughs> ha! And for a rotten wooden peg, he's forgotten the one thing he shouldn't. Abby peers into strangers' homes as she passes. Humble abodes, but for Abby, it is a castle. Only one way to find out, open or bar. Abby rushes headlong and hungry into the baker's yard. Abby, no one will welcome you like that. The baker lady has a broken fence. You can't hold it against the baker. You look for all the world a mischief maker. Mm. Abby, not the nicest thing to do. But then where was her hospitality for you? Congratulations, the Baker Lady says adieu. But who welcomes someone like you? Tonda and his gang are also here, it seems. Take care that they don't spoil your dreams. You slipped them and the rains erased your tracks. But I don't think you can allow yourself to relax. They'll not forget you too soon or let the Ringmaster down. For his promised gold, they'll plunder the whole town. Hey, watch out for your strings. Oh, Abby, be careful. Who's going to clean all this up? Besides, your strings are all tangled. I've got to... One more. No, done. Oh, what? Huh? How? Abby. Oh. Abby... Dumbles. She's running out of time. She falls to the earth and... Ah, uh, has to climb. With all her strength, Abby managed to climb the scaffolding. Amusement's in the air, yet Abby can't go there. Look, a carnival, Abby. Everyone's there. But where's your place? Just as Abby is crossing the breach, Ow. she only escapes by the skin of her teeth. Once her acrobatics filled the villages with happiness. Since she's fled, she's known only duress. Once commanded the spotlight, how oh, low no, she sunk. Now she must hide. Abby hasn't lost her arm. She can still throw far. don't want to miss the end of a story, do you? Our big little eyes have seen enough of the ways the world can be so rough. What sparkled like gold turned black, or tasted sweet turned sour? Abby's beautiful world of adventure was washed away on torrential showers. In the end, she no longer wants to roam. She wishes for nothing but to be back home, thinking, oh, all the troubles she's endured. 
She fell into the bandit's arms and surrendered. Off they go with Abby, the happy little horde, dreaming of all the things they'll do with their reward. And because they're happy, or because the road is long, instead of marching in silence, they all join in a song. We wonder life in freedom, every step is grand. We just marry bandits, terror of the land. We just marry bandits, terror of the land. The circus, the circus, the jugglers slip the sack. And now we finally got and we're bringing every bag. Once we get there, our rewards will make us fed. We're rich, we're rich, so much gold for little bread. We're going to hand you over and collect the handsome wage. And leave you to your fate in a golden circus cage. We wonder life in freedom, every step is grand. We just marry bandits, tower of the land. So you want to stop? Just step into our pub Come on, come on Come and taste our rough The little juggler girl She do her tricks again Why wonder fire and free All the while we sing We want the life and free The merry step is grand We're just merry bandits Tower of the land We're just merry bandits Tower of the land When they reached the ruins, it was dark enough for a lamp, and they were all happy enough to stop and set up camp. Soon the ringmaster will be all smiles. At dawn we set out and tackle the last few miles. Tonda taunted, enjoy your last night of freedom, he said and left her to fight her demons. Abby, stop your criticism. Haven't you learned your lesson? Knowing your place is a blessing. Abby, look what you've done now. You want to be a hero, but have no idea how. Our Abby obviously hasn't learned a thing. Ungrateful know-it-all, but thinks she's a queen. But now, Abby has chosen this fate of her own free will. The story finds its ending. Abby has through. Squirm, Abby, but your cause is run out. The flames spread in the back of an eye. Even the rats flee for their lives. Pitiful that you can't accept. Serious? I'm losing my patience, Abby. In the end, it is as it must be. What do you think of your heroine now? Let go! What do you hope to achieve with your squirming? Let go! Behave yourself! Stop this nonsense! You're being ridiculous! Freedom for- Last chance! This has got to stop! No! No! This is not possible! Hmm. There once was a... Uh, once... Once... Uh, Abby. Uh, uh, Abby. And... And then? Uh, wait. Abby, lie in... Yeah, yeah, damn it. Give me a second. Okay, uh, so Abby lay there, and then, and then, you wanted to know what happened, eh? Of course, um, what, what happened? Okay, good. Abby got up, she sat up, shaken, and found her way back back to her feet. She, she began to run. The world. 
her world that I built was in ruins because, because, because the war endlessly ravaged and uh, uh, brutal. Yeah, the war ravaged the landscape because, because important people somewhere don't, uh, uh, didn't, didn't get along like a stubborn little brat she ran because because she had no plan the war around her was merciless ungrateful as she was she still had no regrets mercenaries and bandits had depleted the land corrupted the innocent slaughtered every man nothing but corpses and spears burnt broken shabby Nothing left alive, except for the stupid brat, Abby. Crawl away in your rabbit hole, Abby. And then, Tonda enters stage left, rages and fumes. Now no one's here to save you. Twice a man's size, five times his strength. To teach this brat a lesson, he'll go to any length. Whichever way she goes, the trap will still catch her, brash little thing, thinking she's something special. The world around her closes in. Stop fighting back. Let the end begin. He comes to get you and won't hold back. The time to beg mercy is long since past. No chance to escape him, Abby. Come out and play. Don't be a bore. These damned strings. Uh, come on! Abby, stop! You coward! Face your destiny! What? What a pathetic attempt. What? Yeah, right, paddle on. You think you've won? I make the rules. Oh, look how peaceful the lake is. So calm. Ah, Abby thinks she's safe, floating like a leaf. But there's more to worry about than a barbarian thief. In the eye of the storm, storm. The eye of the storm is deceptively calm. But then it unleashes the force of a bomb. Nature is a thug not looking so romantic. A peaceful little lake Rage like the Atlantic. A gaping cavern, a cavernous whirlpool. Boat and passenger in comparison, minuscule. No chance, Abby. Seems you'd better head back. Face Tonda and hit the sack. Otherwise, you will certainly be dragged into the deep.
Abby manages to sail the troubled waters. How can she bring a force of nature to falter? But alas, her fate remains the same. The bandits are in march. See her squirm like a worm on the hook. We're finally going to be closing this place. In the circus she commanded wonder, tamer of earth. The air is wet and obscure. But alas, her fate remains the same. The bandits are in march. See her squirm like a worm on the hook. We're finally going to be closing this book. Pathetic little girl! You damn worthless idiots! Away with you! And you! You still think she has a chance? This pathetic little creature? No matter. My world has more than hurricanes and bandits, as you'll soon see. Go on, go on! We'll see how far you get. See these ruins? The stones lie as they fell, and over all of it lies an ill omen spell. An ancient people that also revolted, an ungrateful bunch though they'd once been devoted. They wanted more, more, more. They wanted to win, win, win. And now there's nothing left of them but the stories they're in. A sword in a stone. Ancient as it is famous. <laughs> but is it good for anything more than diversion? But don't get too comfortable, little Abby. Tonda sleeps even less than you. It's only a matter of time before Tonda catches you. Be so kind and don't drag it out. <laughs> How do you like that? Damn it! Come on! Abby? Abby? How long is this going to go on? This isn't how you write a story. If you were really a hero, you wouldn't keep hiding. No, no, Tonda! What have you done? What have you done? You, you'll regret this. Enough of this nonsense. Come out, you little brat. There you are.
not so fast. Ah! Aren't you tired of hiding like this? See? Not just you can break the rules. Ha! <laughs> ha! Have you decided to become a lumberjack? That's not going to help you. Abby, come out! Now I'm fed up! I'll show you! Enough of this game. No, 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 no! Oh, you will regret this. Go away. Get away from it, you. Go away. No, you little. You are so dead. Dead, dead, dead. He'll get you, little girl. Now it's over. <laughs> 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 Place left to hide. Tonda wants his revenge. Ah. Oh, damn. No. Stay away. Don't. Don't you dare, you maggot. Don't you. No. Prepare to die. There's no way out, no matter which side. Congratulations! You've weaseled your way into a trap. Give up, girl. I see you. I see you. I see you. You are trapped. No! I refuse to believe this. Oh, don't you dare! Stay away from him! Ah! How dare you! You're a puppet! My puppet! This world! I make the rules here! I crush you! Come here! Come. I'm your creator! Your god! You know!